All right, we are in Algebra 1, Lesson 0-4, adding, subtracting, rational numbers. Today's date is the 30th of August, 30th of August, 2023. Um, let's go ahead and review um, the rules. Is August 31 days or 30 days? There's 31 in August. 30 days at the September. Yeah, there was a giant blue kit. Yeah, you remember the blue kit on days of the month? There is. Oh, I wasn't there. Okay. Yeah, we can do that maybe again when we have some more time. I think um, I'm going to change this to the rules because that sounds cooler. All right. Um, you can only add and subtract fractions when. You guys know this. Tell me. Teach the lesson for me. When they have a common denominator. Yeah, so. Oh. Only plus or minus when, and then this is the, the start part, common denominator. And that's the start. All right, so let's give a few examples. Um, by the way, whenever you multiply and divide, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you have a, the same denominator. Um, again, if you don't like common denominator, I can write in quotes uh, a different word down here. Uh, this is the same thing as same bottom. Um, the multiplication, again, I say this every single time when I compare the difference between adding and subtracting versus multiplying and dividing. Adding and subtracting, you have to be careful. Multiplying and dividing are the great blenders of mathematics, more so multiplying. You just blend things together. It doesn't matter if they're like terms. It doesn't matter if they have common denominators. Just multiply the things. So, example one. All right, let's do babies first, adding fractions. Ready? One half plus three uh, fourths. Um, random question. Did I write an equation or an expression right now? Uh, oh, they disagree. Fight! Not with fists. With words! <laughs> uh, there's no equal sign. Oh. Wow, Eli. Yeah. One hit KO. Okay, yeah. You have to have an equal yeah. sign in order to be an equation. You have to have an equal sign to be a function. But if you see it, the poster in the back, it says an expression in green. You guys, you can't see where I'm pointing. There's like a laser pointer on my finger. That's right here. An expression is the green one. Yellow has an equation. Blue is the function. Yeah, there's an expression. Yeah, there's an expression. Blue is the function. This is an expression, which means I can just simplify that expression. Um, I know that a lot of teachers are like, and then you say it's equal to something else and it's equal to something else. Yes, but you are writing the equal to sign, not me. This is an expression. All right. In order to change my expression, you do what to the one half? You guys shout out. Multiply the numerator and denominator by two over two. Why are you allowed to do this, by the way? Who gave you permission to do that? Oh. Some great wizard of mathematics has yep. decreed that that is the rule. You are allowed to multiply the top and bottom by a number. Yep. Yeah. I decree you can multiply anything by one. Did you know that Mr. Sindel times one is Mr. Sindel? Uh -huh. Did you know that Zane times one is still Zane? Am I multiplying by one? No, you're multiplying by two over two, which can be reduced to one. one. I'm just multiplying by one here. That's why we have permission to do that. So when we do that, numerator now becomes... 2, denominator now becomes 4, plus 3 over 4, and we're ready to continue on. We can say, oh, now we have the common denominator, or the same bottom. So I can add these. 2 plus 3, that's 5. And here's the trick. Make sure that the bottom, the denominator, does not change. That's a procedural rule. Why? We don't know our rules very oh, well. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, it's because... Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Why do you not do 4 plus 4 is equal to 8? Because you don't add them. Why? Because you're not supposed to. Why? Because they're denominators. And again, that's, that doesn't satisfy me. Oh, you, you don't add the tops either because they're numerous. Because you made them separate. <laughs> Think about it this way. If I'm talking about something that is physical in the real world, I like pizza when I talk about fractions. If I have pizza and I have um, half of a pizza and I have another pizza that is 
three quarters of a pizza. And I want to say, how many pizzas did I eat? You add those pieces together. You can say, okay, well, this one is how many quarters? It's two out of the four. If I cut in four, so I have two out of the four pieces. And I have one, two, three, four pieces again. I have three of the same size piece. So the first step is getting the same size. We all have the same size. They're all in the four pieces. And then I have three pieces. The four on the bottom is really just talking about the size of the piece. It's not the number that you add, it's the descriptor behind what type of fraction that you have. The two represents a quantity. Two is the quantity of the pieces. Four is the type of piece, it's a fourth of a piece. Three is the number of these shaded pieces. Four is the type of piece. You don't add the type of piece, it's a descriptor. It's like saying fast Mr. Sindel plus fast Mr. Sindel is somehow too fast Mr. Sindel. Like you don't uh, add descriptors. So that's my rationale at least for why the bottom doesn't change. Hopefully you're okay with that. Let's give you another example. Example two. Example number two. Um, oh, random question two. How are you doing, Shane? You got it? All of them are correct? Okay. Are you still working on it or do you have a question? Are you done? Okay. You think you're going to do well on the quiz? No? You can always do a retake too. Do you have questions before you get? Yeah, you want to do the lesson today? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. All right, example number two. Um, oh, sorry, before I do that, yes, five course. Some teachers say no! That is improper. The larger is on top. What does Mr. Sundell say? I don't care. There's your answer. Box it. Yes, you can say it's one and a fourth, but I, I don't care. I, I actually tend to not like mixed fractions. They're really good for bakers, not so great for mathematicians. They're really good for engineers and things that are useful for mathematicians and makes our life kind of complex. So let's just stick with five fourths and call it a day. Yes, you should know how to convert there, but more importantly, you should know how to convert backwards, which brings us to example number two. What if I do two and three sevenths plus, eh, I'm feeling a minus sign. We already did a plus sign. Minus one and, ooh, I'm gonna make it, should I make it really, really tricky? Should I do two thirds and make it tricky or only a little bit tricky and do one third? You guys wanna go like really spicy or just a little bit mild? Really spicy. really spicy, I like it. Let's change it to two thirds. All right, let's go. So first and foremost, I have mixed numbers and I don't in this class really like mixed numbers. Let's make these improper fractions to begin. That will make my life much easier. There are multiple ways of attacking this thing. The first thing is deal with those fractions first and then deal with those numbers second. I like dealing with these numbers first because it makes it a little bit easier from my perspective. And that's just an opinion. If you don't like that, you can do it whatever way you want as long as it's still mathematically correct. So the way that we change this into an improper fraction is to do what? You guys know this? Evan, yes. Seven times two, and then you add three, and you keep the same denominator. Yep, so the answer is going to be? Sometimes two, shout out. 17. 15, 16, 17. So the fraction is? 17 over 7. 17 over 7. Over here, someone can combine, or not combine, someone can convert our mixed fraction into an improper fraction. Who wants to do it? Felipe is trying to dodge my eye. He's got this. Go do the same thing. So this one was 7 times 2, 14. 15, 16, 17. 17 over 7. This one is going to be 3 times 1. We're going to add 2. 3 times 1. Add two. Oh, so the fraction is going to be? Um, Keep the same? Oh. Five thirds. Cool. So now we have converted our mixed fractions into improper fractions. Again, terminology is not important, but you need to know this one had a number of count. Now it doesn't, so it's easier. All right. Unfortunately, this is not the same. So we need to do the following. And again, you have paper that keeps going down and down. I'm going to move over to the right-hand side up here. I'll just con continue your notes down. All right. I need to make sure that those denominators are common, that they are the same. How? I see only one hand. I see two hands. Can I get a third? Can I get a third hand? Going once, going twice. 
Sold, the Valentina. Seven times three and three by seven, like that. Uh, not. I mean, you have the in general correct. You have to be. I'm very, very specific though. Up here, I multiply by two over two. I didn't just multiply by two. So really, you're multiplying by three and three. Three and three, and this one. Seven and seven. Seven seven. So how I would have said this is, I would take the fraction seventeen sevenths and multiply it by the fraction three thirds. I'll take the fraction 5 thirds and multiply it by the fraction 7 sevenths. I'm allowed to do that because I'm multiplying by 1. And after I do that, notice that the bottom here is 3 times 7. The bottom here is 3 times 7. Therefore, the bottoms will be the same. The denominators will be like each other. They'll be common. Okay, so let's do that on my next step over here. And this is where we'll see how fast you can do calculations either on paper or in your head. 3 times 17. 41. Oh, so close. Carry the 10. Wait, what? Carry the 10. Or the 20. <laughs> 51, not 40. Oh so close. God. So close. Because 3 times 7 is 21. I'll carry the 2 for you right here. 21. I put the 1 there. I carry the 2. 3 times 1 is 3. 4, 5. 51. Alright, so 51. And then the bottom is 3 times 7. Everyone shouts out. Alright, copy down the minus sign. Copy down the minus sign. Alright. Um, what about over here? 5 times 7. Shout out. Five. Wait, did you say 45 or 35? Okay. I misheard you. I really like, as a teacher, writing down wrong answers and then just kind of waiting to see if anyone gets it. Um, oh, I need to pass out extra credit trackers. I'll try to do that today. Okay, three times seven, we shout out. 21. There it is. And look, it's the same denominator. It's the common denominator. All right, now that we have a common denominator, we're allowed to do this operation. 51 minus 35, you guys shout out. I got 16. It could be 26. Is it 26 or 16? It's 16. 16 over 21. All right. And then as your very final step, you need to reduce your fraction. Can I reduce my fraction? I can divide the top by 2. I can divide the top by 4. Divide the top by 8. OK, can I divide by any of those numbers? I can divide by 3. I can divide by 7. Can't do anything. Remember to reduce your fraction. Um, let me take a peek at what you're going to be doing today. Yeah, that's all you really... Ooh! Yeah, that's all you need to do. But just remember, sometimes I'll be giving you fractions that look like this. Um, I'll, hmm, should I do an example three? This is where I have to decide. I'll do something like two and one fourth minus a negative uh, three and one third. And when you have a double negative, the negatives kiss and they become... What if I did that? Then this still kiss, the, the kissing doesn't happen, or it doesn't like change, it's still plus, and then I have a positive and negative, which means I really subtract. Yeah. And I take the sign of larger, that one's larger, so I'll take the sign of that one. So just be careful, I'm gonna start throwing random negatives and positives at you to see if you can handle them. With that, I think we're done with the notes. So I forgot to leave with our objective, but my objective today, can you add and subtract fractions when they're mixed fractions, normal not fractions, and um, improper fractions. Like, can you add and subtract all the different types of fractions with a bunch of random positives and negatives? How well can you do that objective? How well can you add and subtract fractions? This is five. I want to see this is five. Five, five, four, five, five, three and a half, four. 